Hello, Team Komal. So today's video is a little bit different than the ones that I've done before. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Huawei Honor 8. Now this phone was sent to me by the brand. I've had my sweet, lovely, long time with this phone and I thought right now is the best time to tell you guys what exactly I thought about this phone and how exactly it worked with the sort of work that I have to do. So since I've been using this phone, everybody has been asking me what phone this is and I've had the hardest time to explain it to people, how exactly it's pronounced and how exactly it's written. Let us first clarify that. This is the Huawei Honor 8. Not Huawei, but Huawei. Like Wa Wei Honor 8. I've been using this phone for over a month as a primary phone. So this is not the second phone that I use only for camera or anything like that. I've been using this phone for over a month, actually more than a month, as a full fledged primary phone. So I think I know all the nooks and crannies of this phone by now. So let's get started. So Huawei sent me the Gold Honor 8. This one has a beautiful body. It's not a flimsy device, guys. This is not on the heavier side, but it definitely feels very sturdy in your hand. That's one thing that I noticed. It has the glass panel on both the front as well as the back side. It makes it safer, plus it makes it look real good. The primary camera is 12 megapixels and it also has a dual tone flash which I believe is really cool. I will tell you more about it. The front camera is 8 megapixels. The one thing that I think I should highlight the most about this phone is the back fingerprint situation. It retails for about 29999 9, depending on where you buy it. The color that I have this in is a very beautiful gold. It's not a very stark yellow gold, but it's a very beautiful bronzish gold, which I think goes with mostly everything. I'm a more black sort of a person, so a system which is gold was a little different for me, but I cannot say that I don't like it. I have taken this phone to events, I've recorded vlogs with it, I even record like all of my pictures as well as videos of my engagement were actually from this phone because people couldn't really understand how exactly to work with my camera. So we ended up using all the pictures and videos from this phone. So the camera of this phone has proven to be the best that it could possibly be. Now the front camera is something that I use quite a bit to do vlogs as well as a lot of selfies and all of that is really good for selfies let me just say that outright you might feel a little intimidated by the quality of it all because I did the initial time that I used the phone um, I actually felt that it was a little too much detail because I wasn't used to seeing my face in that much high definition so the first time that you're going to use the phone you might feel a little bit intimidated by the front camera but the quality of it is amazing the front camera is 8 megapixels and the aperture could go as low as 2.4 i feel that's really good if you want to have that beautiful bouquet it's very useful when i want to do swatches of lipsticks on my lips and i want to put it on snapchat the back has a 12 megapixel camera with the lowest aperture of 2.2 again something that would give you beautiful bouquet images so if you are the sort of person that um, really likes blurred background and you to be in like great contrast with the background you should definitely try this camera first in the back it has the dual flash so what the dual flash does is that if you are in an environment let's say um, where there's a lot of blue light but you want more yellow light in that when you click a picture with this phone, the phone automatically senses that there's a disparity between the tones and it corrects by its own self. You can also adjust this in a manual setting inside of the phone. But I thought this is a very, very neat feature because a couple of times my pictures kind of get thrown off because of the fact that I'm at a setting which is either too warm or too cold in terms of the tone of the picture. What this ends up doing is that it gives you the exact picture but a little better. The most important feature, I feel like I'm saying that about everything, but one feature is genuinely the most impressive and amazing for people who 
are like me and who don't like to go all swipey swipe on their phone just to open the phone. So the Huawei on 8 has a really cool fingerprint sensor in the back. So every single thing that you have to do with three swipes or two touches and all of that completely cancels out because all you have to do is touch this and your phone opens or you can touch this and it clicks a picture, it clicks a video. You can go into the settings and change every single thing. Anything can open with just one simple fingerprint touch right here. And let's not even begin to talk about the fast charging. Okay, fast charging is like my savior. I have like little to no patience when it comes to charging my phone. I want my phone to be charged within like five seconds if I could, but this takes about 15 to 20 minutes to charge my phone. That I think is the best. Yeah, if you like me, have no patience to let your phone charge. And if you want the charge to be as quick as possible, this is good. Let us go to Instagram because I did ask you guys if you had any questions about this and I do have a couple of questions by people. Let's answer some questions. Surprisingly enough, the phone does not heat up, but if you are in an extremely hot place, if you are running 70 applications or every single application in your phone, then any phone is bound to heat up. I use about like five to seven applications throughout like one after the other while they're active um, and it still did not heat up at all this is with recording video plus taking pictures from the normal camera and then uploading on snapchat instagram twitter and youtube yes so even after that it didn't heat up from my personal experience. Call quality is quite nice. So my last phone, let me just tell you, sorry. So my last phone had a lot of problems with the speaker. So uh, my now fiance had a lot of problem in hearing what I was saying. So half our problems were the fact that he couldn't really hear what I was saying. So I couldn't even like say anything that was personal in a public place because then everybody could hear me. But this one is pretty nice. So the, the minute I got this phone, I called him and I was like, so, can you hear me now? And he was like, yeah, there's something weirdly nicely wrong with your voice. What is it? And so I told him that I wasn't using a new phone. So definitely the call quality is better from what I had experienced before. And uh, the reception is also very, very good. At places like my local market where I would usually go, uh, the phone that I was using before did uh, not get any reception when I went underground to the shops. But now when I have actually gone there, um, I still get reception. So that's good. The best part about this phone, I can't tell you one because I think there are two that I really like. One is the fingerprint plus the camera. Yeah, I think that's like... The camera quality is really cool of this phone, uh, both the front as well as the back camera as I mentioned before. I do record my vlogs and all. So now all the vlogs that are going to come up, you're going to see a lot of betterment in quality and it's because of this particular phone. It is quite comfortable in my hand. I do have quite small hands actually, <laughs> so it still is pretty okay, but I would say that this would be comfortable for somebody that has bigger hands as well. Um, that being said, I mostly work with both my hands. I don't work with, on my phone just with one hand because every single thing that I have to do, I have to be a little careful. I, if I'm replying to somebody, if I'm writing an email and all of that, I do all of those things with both my hands. So. But whatever I do do with one hand, just like check notifications and all of that, it's quite easy for that. It does have a very smooth back, but it doesn't really slip away from your hands um, because you hold your phone like this. You never hold your phone like this, right? So um, when you hold your phone like this, it doesn't really slip around. This is very good for selfies. Let me give you an example. Boom. The phone has never frozen on me and I've used it for more than a month now and I've put it in very extensive and very stressful situations, okay? Fashion week is stressful and I've put this phone through that and it never froze, it never shut down, it never got hot and then shut down by its own self, it didn't do any of those things. You know that's actually a very good idea because I have been using this as a vlogging camera. I'll just show you what exactly I do. Mostly when it comes to vlogging, I would just 
I was just using the phone with my hand like this and I was recording video um, and I would put a pop socket at the back of it so that it's easier to hold when I do have my hand extended out. Now this is the thing that I use to vlog. I've been using this for like a month now um, and essentially what I do is that I have this gorilla pod that I bend in any way if I want to put it anywhere and I have this contraption right here that essentially encases the phone so I just put the phone like this and I can vlog with it like this or if I want like in my face shots I can go like this or if I want to I can go a little further on let me just record one video for you see how easy that is I just touched in the back and it turned on if I had to do like here and then swipey swipe it just takes a long time so let us try to do this vlog. Hello. So this is what it looks like uh, when I'm recording pretty much in my face. <laughs> the, the, the camera is right on my face. So this is what it looks like. And if I wanted to have like a wider angle, I would go like that. And this is pretty wide, I feel. This is quite nice and it doesn't really move around that much. That's here is my guitar. It's nothing bad or anything so this sort of a contraption really works it's very rare that i use a camera like this because <laughs> i feel like others can watch me doing the vlog so it gets a little awkward it's just a personal preference you could also vlog like that so i definitely think this is a very good camera for vlogging and you can do this sort of a contraption or you can just hold it. You can also use a selfie stick if you want to, uh, depending on what exactly you like. If you have any other questions regarding this phone or any feature within this phone or just any questions, you can always leave it in the comments box or you can ask me on all of my social media. I am everywhere. And if you have any further other questions, you can again ask me in the comments box below. That's it.